Hi there, I'm Bhavish and in this video we are going to look at logical piles. So again, this is part of a basic videos. This is part of a series of a basic videos where we will learn the basic operations in AS400. Let's begin. So what is a logical file or an LF? The logical file is a view. When we talk about databases and SQL tables, and when we compare it with other database systems like Microsoft SQL or uh, MySQL, Oracle database. So LF is a view. So now what are views required for or what is a logical file required for? But before going to that, we will also mention that a logical file occupies memory space only equivalent to the size the object requires to hold the data related to the structure of the LF or the metadata. A physical pipe on the other hand, which is the actual SQL table will hold the actual data. So a physical file, let's say is going to be about 5 GB to 6 GB of size. But LF of the same physical file is going to be of a very small size in kilobytes or bytes. So an LF does not actually hold data. LF is only a structure which points to the actual physical file. And it is a view, which means that it is a view of the physical file. So you are able to select, pick and choose and decide in which manner you want to see the data of the physical file. So what all combinations of pick and, picking and choosing are available. So you can pick and choose which records you want. So like in an SQL statement where you have a where clause, with a where clause you can determine which type of specific record values I want the data for. You can do the same thing with select omit criteria in a logical file. So if you have, let's say a data of NYSE listed companies, which we created in the previous video. So if you have a list of all the companies in the New York Stock Exchange, and if you want only the technology companies, so you can only select where department is equal to technology. And that view, that logical file will only have, so when you query on that logical file, it will automatically only show you only those records which are in the department of technology, only those companies. So why use a select omit criteria and why even create a logical file when you have a where clause and you can directly query on the physical file. Well, when you create a physical file, you get a permanent structure, a structure that you can repeatedly call directly and easily by direct SQL in the SQL console or through your programs. It allows you to easily select only the records that you want to use and you make sure that you do not have to you make sure that you get those records easily without having to specify the where clause and where conditions every single time. But not only some select an omit criteria, you also have an option for specifying different set of keys with a different view or a different logical file. So for a single physical file, you can create many different logical files. So there is no a rule that a physical file can have only one logical file. You can create many views as you want for a specific physical file. Each logical file can have different set of fields and a different set of keys and different select omit criteria. So you can have the view however you want. So let us look at an example and let us create a logical file. So how do we create a logical file? We can use the same Q 
QDDSSRC source physical file, which we used to create our physical file called company in the previous video. So if you look at the structure of this physical file, the record format is called company. It is a unique structure where the key fields are unique. So the NYSE ID is a key field and does not repeat. You also have all these fields for the physical file with their own data types. So NYSE ID is a numeric field of size 10. Name of the company is alphanumeric with size 40. Industry which the company belongs to is an alphanumeric field of size 10. And then you have price of the company which is a floating point number with two decimal places with the total size of pi. So now with this physical file we created we added some records in the previous video. So we added three records in the physical file called company. So we have different companies added with their shared price. Now let us go ahead and create our own logical file. So to create a logical file to this physical file, I'm just going to press F6 in QDDSSRC. This is where you'll define the DDS for your physical files and logical files. So I'll just press F6 to make sure that we understand which physical file the logical file belongs to. I'll reuse the name of the physical file, which is company. And I'll just add a suffix LF to the end of it. So source type, this is an LF. So we'll type LF and description LF for company PF. So the first thing that we have to write over here is the record format. We can take an example from the IBM documentation. We shall do that in case required. So the first thing to do here is to mention the name of the record format. Now what we can do is we can simply press F4 and type in R which mentions that it is a record format. We'll have to mention the name of the record format which is company LF. And in function we have to specify, we'll have to denote which physical file it belongs to. So the logical file we are creating belongs to the physical file called company. So we'll type P file company. So this creates a new record format for this logical file company LF. The name of the record format is company LF itself. And it points towards the physical file called company. Now what we will do is we'll have to specify all the fields we want to have in our logical file. So we can pick and choose. So if you open the source code of the physical file, we can see that we have four different fields in the physical file. We can choose either two of them, one of them or all of them in our logical file. So in this scenario, first we will try with choosing all of them. So we have copy pasted all the fields. The next thing to do is to specify the key fields for this logical file or this record format. So the key field will keep the same key field NYSEID. Which was there in the physical file. An additional thing that we can specify here is a select omit criteria. So we'll just try to create a simple select omit criteria. So I've written omit. So we can actually do F4 here. And if you do F1, you can see that O stands for omit and S stands for select. So you can specify either S or O. 
to specify whether it is a select or an omit so an omit is going to be not equal to condition and a select is going to be an equal to condition so we will write the name of the field which we want to compare so since this is a nyc list of companies we want to try to have a less than or greater than comparison operator so we'll try with nyc id because it is a numeric field so nyc id is the name that we used and in functions i'm going to use compare less than let's see what data we have so in the company physical file we have three companies 556 7 8 so i'll select less than 558 and press enter so it has added the required comparator operator at the position which it required it on so we have written omit nyc id compare less than 558 so all the records where the nyc id is going to be less than 558 will be omitted from this logical file so you will not be able to see those records so if we compare with our physical file less than 558 means alphabet and microsoft so these two records will be omitted and you will be able to see only nvidia corporation let's save this and we'll compile the logical file with 14 options So I already had the object, that is why it asked me for recompilation or regeneration of the object. We can do work OBJ and we can look at the object. We can see that the object is created. Now if we do a select star from the logical file, company ls, we will see that we get only NVIDIA Corp. But when we do a select star on company, we get all the three records. So we have effectively created a logical file which gives you only the selected records. Let us try to add a new record in the physical file and see how it behaves. So NYC ID, I'm going to add 559. It is a numeric field so it is not mentioned the quotes name we can mention oracle industry again is technology so we need to specify quotes again and price is going to be a random figure so with nc whenever you get not valid for operation now let us do a select star from the physical file first we see that there are four companies in our list with NYC IDs of 556, 7, 8, and 9. When we do an LF query, we only get 558 and 559. Let us also demonstrate having only specific columns in the logical file. Let us modify our logical file and we will keep only NYC ID and name remove industry and price let us compile it again so the file is now compiled let us try to do a query on it one more time so as you can see after compilation when we do a select star from the logical file we only have two fields in the logical file nyc id and company and even in these two fields even in the output you can see that only 558 and 559 is selected but in the original physical file you are going to have all the records and all the fields so we have four fields and four records that's it for today we have covered all the topics related to uh, creating a simple logical file. So of course, there is there are going to be a more advanced subtopics with physical file as well as a logical file, which we will cover in future videos. If you like our videos, 
do consider subscribing to the channel thank you for watching bye bye